in Sutherland are a bit, well, lunar. Since the Salt Telescope was built here, almost everything is about the stars, moon and planets. In this area there's over 43 guest houses already so it's definitely very good for, for the marketing here and uh, it's very, very good for the local economy because we employ the local people and it's a wonderful opportunity for the people to come here and enjoy the stargazing and the nice guru love that we are privileged to have here. But you don't really need the Southern Hemisphere's largest telescope to view stars in this Guru town. But over a period of a year, we enjoy more than 80% uh, cloudless skies. And whenever you want to look, the opportunity is there and you can enjoy the most beautiful stars in the Southern Hemisphere. A treat for visitors from near and far. When the cloud went away, of course, yes, we had some cloud, but um, with the lights out then it was really, really lovely and starry, starry night, beautiful. Suddenly the, the, the whole sky came alive and you, you've noticed stars and constellations you haven't seen be before. And I think it's due to the fact that we're in Sutherland, we've got uh, less light pollution. The stars here are at their best during the winter, with locals promising a spectacular view of the Milky Way and other constellations that can be seen with the naked eye. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Southern Northern Cape.